Hi, Digital Planners. This is Tina Phillips coming to you from A Wild Plan. And today I have a very quick little brief um, demonstration on using custom stationery in GoodNotes. And that's a little bit different than, say, if you buy a digital planner online from Etsy from me. This is a little bit different, and I'm trying to figure out different ways that people use GoodNotes and how I can help serve them a little bit better. And in this way, is um, using the stationary side of good notes and not just pre-made uh, pre-made notebooks. And I did do a, pre a video not too long ago on using bookmarks in good notes, and this kind of would play along with that a little bit. It's using good notes more as an application versus as a vehicle for the planners itself. And let's get started. Um, what I've done is I've created a background PNG that I want to use as my stationery or as a piece of stationery. The cool thing about GoodNotes is that you can have multiples. You have It comes with a large um, uh, selection of uh, papers and stuff. If you want to look here under options, they have a template library. And under here, you can kind of see at the lower, at the bottom of it, it has covers and then papers. And inside this, you can see both that I've created a custom folder for covers and a custom folder for papers. And if you've ever created a notebook in GoodNotes just from scratch, it'll always give you the option of like a, one of their versions of covers and papers. And I'm here to tell you, you can actually do your own. We can actually, you know, create stationery. Now, um, let's go ahead and I will, I'll create, um, add a new, new piece of new stationery paper. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go into my wild plan. And as you can see, I do have some stationery here. Um, the bad thing is, is if you see these tabs on here, these tabs will not work. They are not linked to anything. They're just decorative at this point. So what I'm going to do is I created a new play around uh, screen. And you can see at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and add it again to show you. And you're going to go in the upper right-hand corner, hit edit. In the upper left hand corner, you have a plus sign. So I want to, I'm keeping it on my Dropbox. It's uh, behaving better for me now that the updates have gone a few patches already. So um, then I have my Halloween background on this folder. I want to go ahead and click yes. So any PNG, any JPEG, any uh, image will work for this. Um, and as you can see, it comes in, it comes in as its name. When you select it, you can even retitle it, whatever you want it to call it. My Halloween background. And you want to hit save. And then you're done. So what's going to happen, and you click outside of it and the box will go away. I want to hit the plus sign over in the upper left hand corner to create a new notebook. And see, no importing, so you're not you're creating one from scratch within note for within good notes. So create good note uh, create notebook and you can actually I have not I don't have any covers in here right now but I will probably start adding some pretty soon it's the same idea it's just it keeps it in separate you can have like um, like you see vertical or horizontal and how they've created these things so I'll just select this as an option and then in here it already has my thing selected as as a background and if I wanted to I can always go back and change it and go to graph paper let's go back back to wild plan papers and I want to change it to my new Halloween background click it and say create and you can call it whatever you want to my Halloween or just we'll just call it October because my thought is people are going to want to start creating different looks and feels for each month and it gives you a lot more room to play and you're not the beauty of good notes is that you are not stuck with an entire year of something when you buy a planner and i i see a lot of people in a lot of groups lamenting that they've already spent you know sixty dollars on a year that now they feel they have to sit through it and they have to tough it out and the cool thing about digital is that you can change it up on an as-needed basis and it doesn't take a lot of effort and you can get really creative with it. Um, so as a little gift for you guys for trying to play around with stationery, I'm going to offer this background to you on my Facebook page. So if you go to um, a wild plan on Facebook and you can go ahead and like my page, I would appreciate it because I do plan on doing more progress things on there. 
Uh, I am part of a group for um, the all digital planners, but I don't want to keep uh, posting 800 things there every day and feeling like I'm hogging up that whole group. So I'd like to start doing it on this page on a wild plan. And I will still hang out at all digital, but I mean, I'd like to just put more subtle things. And you'll also get freebies and you'll also get uh, the first notice of sales going on at my shop. Um, and if you have any questions on anything, I would I really I would like to hear it. And um, have fun with this. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.